Hi everybody, welcome back to Kids Corner. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Easter story. We're going to use these fun, colorful eggs to help us learn more about the Easter story and what Jesus went through during that time. Let's start with the dark blue egg and see what kind of treasures we can find. have a donkey. In Jesus' day, most people walked everywhere. Sometimes kings rode on donkeys or horses when they entered a city. The people would stop what they were doing and watch as the king rode by. On the day that Jesus rode into their city, the people were thrilled to see him. They believed that he was their new king who had come to save them and to fill their lives with joy. This little treasure represents the donkey that Jesus rode on. Okay, now let's take a look at the pink. Let's crack it open and see what we have inside. We have a silver coin. Not everyone was happy to have Jesus as his king. Some people only pretended to be happy. But on the inside, they really didn't want anything to do with him. One of those pretenders was a man named Judas. Some other men hated Jesus so much that they wanted to kill him. But they needed the help of someone who could get them close to Jesus. Because Judas was a pretender, and because he was greedy for money, he told these men that he would help them capture Jesus if they would pay him 30 silver coins. This little treasure represents the 30 silver coins that was paid to betray Jesus. Let's go to our next egg and see what we can find. What is our treasure? Ooh, it's like a silver goblet. I wonder what this could mean. Jesus had a special dinner with his disciples, 12 of his closest friends who traveled with him and learned from him. During the meal, Jesus stood up and held out the cup and gave everyone a drink. Then he said something that was hard for them to understand. He said that the wine in the cup was his blood. He didn't mean that they would actually be drinking blood, but that the wine was a symbol of his blood. He wanted them to remember this special night and the promise he was making to them and to all people. This little treasure symbolizes the pouring of the wine that Jesus used as a symbol for his blood that he would shed for all those who believed in him. Now let's open the orange egg and see what treasure we will find. It's a pair of praying hands. After dinner with his disciples, Jesus took the disciples to a garden. He asked them to pray while he went to another place in the garden to talk to God alone. He began to be sad and to dread what he knew was going to happen soon. He was going to die. This little treasure represents the praying that was done not only by the disciples, but also Jesus himself. We're going to open the green egg now and see what treasure we have. Oh, it looks like a long leather cord, like a whip. Uh Uh-oh. When Jesus finished praying in the garden, the men who wanted to kill him took him as their prisoner. They brought Jesus to Pilate, their ruler, and he had Jesus whipped. Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. The men who wanted to kill him were afraid of losing power, so they wanted Jesus out of their way. They knew that if people really believed that Jesus was the Son of God, which he was, they would follow him. This little whip represents the whip used to beat and hurt Jesus. 
Let's see what the yellow ha egg has. Look, we have a rooster. You may wonder what a rooster has to do with the Easter story. For Peter, one of the disciples of Jesus, the sound of a rooster crowing triggered great sadness and caused him to cry. Here's what happened. Peter was one of Jesus' closest friends, and he once promised Jesus that no matter how dangerous things might become, he would always be loyal. Jesus could depend on him, but that began to change when Peter realized that those who planned to kill Jesus might want to kill him too. In fact, Peter was so afraid that he denied even knowing Jesus. Just the evening before, when Peter had promised to be loyal, Jesus told him that he would indeed deny knowing him, not just once or even twice, but three times. And in fact, it happened, just as Jesus said it would. The rooster was still crowing when Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. Peter was so ashamed that he ran away and cried. This little treasure reminds us of Peter denying three times that he knew Jesus. Let's move on and see what we have in the light orange egg. No, this doesn't look good. We have a crown of thorns. After Jesus had been whipped, the soldiers took branches with thorns, twisted them into the shape of a crown, and shoved it down on Jesus' head, making him bleed. We know that because Jesus was the Son of God, he could have stopped the men from hurting him, but he let them continue. And do you know why? Because even though he hadn't done anything wrong, he had not sinned, Jesus was taking the punishment for all the wrong things that any person had ever done or ever would do. This includes you and me. This little treasure represents the crown of thorns that was placed on Jesus' head. Let's see what is revealed in the green egg. Oh, there are three nails here formed into a cross. The soldiers took Jesus to the top of a hill outside the city. Then, using nails much larger than these, they nailed him to a rough wooden cross. He died a few hours later. Because God loves people so much, he was willing to let Jesus be punished for our sins, the things we do or the ways we act that don't please God. And even though it hurt Jesus badly, he was willing to do what God the Father asked, because Jesus loves us too. These small nails, shaped like a cross, represent the cross that Jesus spared for us. What will we find in the dark purple egg? Let's see. Ooh, it looks like a spear. To make sure that Jesus had already died, one of the soldiers took a spear and stabbed him in his side. This is a very sad story but it is a true one. It is sad to think that Jesus died and that he died in such a cruel way. But remember that Jesus gave up his life because of his love for all sinners. This includes you and me and all who tell lies, steal from others, disobey God in any way, or even someone like the soldier who stabbed him. This little reveal represents the spear that stabbed Jesus. Now we're going to reveal what's in the blue egg. Ooh, what do we have? Oh, it's a white linen cloth. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph asked if he could bury him. This was a brave and loving thing for Joseph to do. Remember that the men who killed Jesus did not believe that he was the Son of God. But Joseph did believe, and he wanted Jesus to have a proper burial. 
Joseph knew that this might get him in trouble with the soldiers, but he was brave and asked for permission anyway. Joseph wrapped the body of Jesus in cloth and buried him in a tomb cut out of rock, like a shallow cave. Joseph then went away sad because Jesus was dead, and he wondered what would happen next. This linen cloth represents the cloth that was wrapped around Jesus at his burial. We are almost at the end of the story. Let's see what is in the pink egg. It's a rock, a stone. Now, to seal Jesus' tomb, a great big stone was rolled right in front of it to close the entrance. Soldiers were also assigned to stand guard guarding the tomb. According to the Gospels, And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. Matthew chapter 28, verses 2 through 4. The soldiers standing guard were no match for God's angel. It took just one angel to roll the stone away. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. This treasure represents the stone that was rolled in front of the entrance to Jesus' tomb. Now our last egg, a beautiful, white, pure egg. It's empty. When two women came to the tomb of Jesus, they were surprised to see the heavy stone was rolled aside and the tomb was empty. Jesus' body was not there. The angel told them, He has risen. Jesus had come back to life. This was the promise that Jesus made to his disciples at their special dinner just a few days before, that he would die but come back to life to show those who believed in him that they would live forever too. Someday, because he died for us, we can meet him and thank him in heaven. That's the story of Easter, and it's a true story. This empty egg reminds us of the empty tomb when Jesus came back to life.